Well, good morning, everybody. How are you? I personally am doing really good. Um, I hope you guys are staying safe. Today, we are gonna make another friendship bracelet. This one is really, really easy. You will find your strings in your kit. I gave you enough to do two. Um, this one's gonna be really easy. So get out a roll of tape, because it's easier if you tape your work down to get it started. And uh, get out your strings from your kit and meet you back here in just a minute. Let's get started. All right, now that we're all ready, the first thing we're gonna do is get out our strings and you're gonna leave enough room that you'll be able to tie this on after. So you want half of the length on this side and half on the other side. So, and then I'm just gonna tape that down to the table. And that just helps hold it in place and keep it from moving on you. Okay, so this one's really, really easy. So you pull out one string and you leave all the rest in the middle. My first color is gonna be this pink. So this is like all our other bracelets. You're gonna pull this one, hold it firm, then you're just gonna wrap around that and pull it up. We're gonna do it again. This is our figure four tie that we've been doing. And you just let it go. Slide it all the way up to the top. And this one's a really fast bracelet. And it turns out very, very beautiful. It's kind of a twist effect. And sorry you can hear my bird today. He's just in there going crazy because I left the living room. And he's yelling at me. He's asking for oranges. He's saying hey. So sorry about all the noise in the background. Anyway, as you can see, this moves along quite quickly. And I don't know if you can see it. But the way it starts doing is our little knots are twisting around the string, which is just beautiful. I'm gonna do a couple more in this color, and then I'm gonna switch colors, and I'm gonna show you how to do that. So that's a nice little section there. So now we just put that one back in the mix, and we pull out the next color. Now we do the same thing with it. We go right up through there and then slide that knot up. Go in there, slide the knot up. Take your four, slide your knot up. This one's a fun, easy bracelet to do. You can make several of these in a matter of half an hour. They make beautiful gifts for friends. If you wanna get really creative, you can take some larger hold beads and you can slide a bead on these strings every now and then and that would put a bead in between. Depends on your preference and your taste and what you want. All right, so there's my yellow. Now I'm gonna pull that one in and I'm gonna pull and pull that blue one out. So now we do the same thing with this one. And slide that knot up. Slide the knot up. You see how we're progressing quite rapidly and it doesn't take this long. You can make a bracelet, you can make a necklace, um, you can even make little pieces and put a earring wire on there and make yourself some matching earrings. On wires for earrings, not the post, but the wire, there's a little hoop at the bottom of them and you can attach things to that and make a beautiful pair of earrings. Maybe I'll show you how to do that here soon. 
Okay, now I'm gonna take my last color. Just put that one back in the mix. And I'm gonna do it again. This has turned out to be a very, very pretty bracelet that almost anybody can do. You can make one knot, you can do this bracelet. I like to make them where they'll go around my wrist at least twice. And so it's kind of like a double bracelet. Because I just like the way they look and I think they're pretty that way. What do you think? I sure do miss you guys. I hope you're staying safe. I'm sorry about my bird. I don't know how to make him be quiet. He doesn't have an on-off button. And if I cover him up, that makes it even worse because he knows the sun's shining today. Yep, you do. All right, as you can see, this is turning out to be such a pretty, pretty bracelet. It's fast and easy to do. It's fun. Thanks to one of our teens, Linda, for showing us how to do this. Cause she's the one that taught me. I thought I knew a lot of bracelets, but this was one I didn't know yet. So thanks, Linda. Miss you guys. And there we go. See how pretty that is? Then when you're ready to go back to your beginning color, you just pull that one out. Yep. It's a beautiful sunshiny day today. Hope you guys are enjoying this weather as much as I am. Spring is in the air. It's after Mother's Day, so it's safe to plant your flowers, they say. I have strawberries coming back this year already, which is exciting for me. This will be their third year in the ground, so I think my strawberry plant patch is getting well established. I learned another tip the other day, that if you're growing strawberries, when you first start growing them in the spring, like now, you find a bunch of rocks that look kind of like strawberry shaped and you paint them like strawberries and you put them out there amongst your strawberry patch and the birds will come down and try to eat them and realize that they're rocks and by the time your strawberries actually come in, they will probably be leaving them alone because they've tried to eat these things so many times and found out they're rocks that it's a way to keep your strawberries safe in your strawberry patch. So I thought that was kind of cool. I love painting rocks. You guys do too, don't you? So maybe we'll do that in one of our next projects. We should all find some pretty rocks. You should start looking for rocks now for one of our later projects. Um, I think we should try to paint some rocks into different styles. Maybe we could go hide those rocks around town just to cheer people up. And here we are on our next color. You don't have to go in this specific pattern. You can change it up. The fun thing about this bracelet is you can do it in any order that you want. You can make it repetitive or you can make it random. It's all in which string you decide to tie next. Okay. What have you guys been doing in your spare time? I don't have a lot of spare time lately, but I've been making masks that I've been giving to people to keep them safe. Um, here soon I'm gonna do a sewing machine tutorial because I've been asked by so many people, Miss Fawn, how do you thread a sewing machine? So I'm thinking I need to teach you guys how to thread a sewing machine. And then if your mom has a sewing machine, maybe she'll let you use it and we can do a couple fun projects on that teach you how to sew. Some of you have already been learning in my classroom, so maybe there's a possibility you have a sewing machine you can use. We'll do a couple projects that way here soon. Get you practicing how to do a straight stitch on a sewing machine. Once you have mastered sewing a straight stitch, then the world, whole world opens up to you on sewing. My mom taught me when I was younger 
And we also had a class called Home Ec, where they taught you how to sew and cook and all kinds of things that people need to know when they get out on their own. Get you prepared for life. I made an apron in that class on a sewing machine. It had bluebirds carrying cherries on it. It was such a pretty material. And I made myself an apron to use while I was learning how to cook. And as you can see, this bracelet is getting a lot longer. At this point, it's probably good enough to go around my wrist at least once, almost. A little bit more. So you just keep tying and tying. Doesn't take that long. This one's a really fun project. You're basically just wrapping that string around the other ones and pulling it up tight. Can't wait to see all your art projects when we go back to the club. Feel free to bring any of them in to show me. I'll be bringing some of mine in that I've made during this epidemic. And maybe we'll just do something nice with them. I have a lot of extra stuff behind me. Hope you guys all had a really nice Mother's Day with your moms. Showed you several projects you could do to give her a nice gift. Plus we included something in the bag last week to make her a little bouquet. Hazel and Riker made one for their mom. It turned out really pretty. And this string changes color. It's a variated yarn or string. It's actually embroidery floss, but Hope you guys are enjoying all these activities. We sure do miss you, and this is our best way of keeping in touch with you and doing fun activities and keeping everybody safe, but yet staying connected. Let's see how this string has started to change color. Went from green to blue. It's just beautiful. So as you can see, this one doesn't take long. It's a lot of fun. I hope you've enjoyed making yours as much as I've enjoyed making mine. We are getting close to being done here. And like I said, I put enough string in your kits for you to make a couple. You'll just want to cut that string in half. And you should have plenty to do at least a couple bracelets for your wrists. Um, if you have more string laying around, you can use almost any kind of string for this. You could probably even do it with a thin yarn. I wouldn't want to use a really thick yarn, but you could probably use a thin yarn to do this as well. So be creative and play with it and see what different effects you get. Just remember to hold the middle strings kind of tight so that this ties around them easily. You can also make these and wear them in your hair. Attach them to a barrette or attach them to a piece of hair. You just tie the end around a strand of your hair, or a little section of your hair, and uh, voila, you have a wrap. You can also do this process around the strand of hair, but it is really hard to get it out of there once you want to take it out. I'm just tying my knots. Moving quite quickly, actually. You see how far we've come in just this short amount of time? So these make really pretty gifts. I would be flattered to get one like this. In fact, I made one earlier this year while we were at the club. And it's still hanging in there on my arm. I sure do miss all you guys. All my art buddies. I miss hanging out with you. I miss talking to you. I hope life is being good for you. I hope you're finding creative ways to spend your time while we're all at home and staying safe. Safer at home. The order has begun. And I hope this is turning out on the video that you can see how pretty this is. It's a fun little bracelet to do. This is my, probably one of my funner ones to do actually because it doesn't take long and you don't have to worry about losing your place or which direction the knot's going and Lots of other things that you have to think about when we're doing those other bracelets. So I think this is going to be my last color here. I'm just going to put enough on there that it's, you know, kind of similar to the other two. This 
see it doesn't take long to pull this one off. Just a few more here and we're gonna call this one done. Now there's a couple of ways you can finish this off. You could just cut the strings, you know, you're gonna tie a knot in it and then you can cut the strings the same length as this size and just tie it on. Or there's another option and you could tie these strings into a loop and then put a bead on this end or even a button. You know, we use buttons a lot in my room, don't we? Put a button on the end and make the hole big enough for the button to go through and then you have a way to fasten your bracelet. All right, so this one, I am just going to cut my strings. These are my strings for my next bracelet. Go ahead and pull the tape up off the table. What a beautiful bracelet. Well, kids, there you have it. As you can see, mine turned out to be a double bracelet. Like I told you, I simply just tied it around my wrist. It turns out to be a very beautiful bracelet. So have fun with this one. It's a lot of fun. You can do several in no time at all. Like I said, you can add beads to your center strings and just slide it up there and then keep knotting around it like you were doing. So you can add beads to it as well. Um, I hope you're all staying safe. I hope you're washing your hands. Um, keep, keep being you. Don't lose yourself in this pandemic. We love who you are. Each and every one of you are special to us, and we miss you so much. So um, until next time, have fun making bracelets. Bye.